You know, if you've ever had a file, photo, or document that you wanted with you at all times and on all your devices like tablets, smartphones, and, and laptops, you've probably tried a service like Dropbox. It's been the perfect cloud storage solution for a lot of people. But Microsoft and Google have their own clouds now with the launch of Windows Live SkyDrive and Google Drive. So which cloud should you trust with your files? Well, let's take a look at each one and see what they have to offer. First up, SkyDrive. You know, being late to the cloud storage game, Microsoft SkyDrive actually offers the most free storage at 7 gigabytes. That's over three times the amount that you get with Dropbox. And if that's not enough, you can shell out 25 bucks per year for an additional 50 gigabytes of storage. SkyDrive has most of the cloud syncing features you'd expect, but the killer app is the web interface. It lets you access the files and folders of your other computers from anywhere, just by using a browser. Now, you'll need to install SkyDrive on these machines to access other computers using your Windows Live ID first, but once that's done, you've got access. And if you're a heavy Microsoft Office user and you work with others a lot, SkyDrive was made for you. It does online file collaboration, public file sharing, and even version tracking. And you can do things like edit files online from your work computer using the Microsoft Office suite, as well as edit files by using the Microsoft Office web apps at home, or you can view them via the SkyDrive app on your iPhone or iPad during your daily commute. Now you'll always be working. Can life get any better? Now let's look at Dropbox. It's a favorite with power users, thanks to in part to a pretty strong track record. Dropbox gives users the smallest amount of initial free storage at just two gigabytes, but offers a cool referral program that lets you rack up an additional 500 megabytes for each referral signup. Long story short, share with your friends and you'll get more storage for yourself. So if someone told you to try Dropbox and then they give you their email address, now you know why. But if you want more Dropbox storage, they charge the most per gigabyte. 100 gigs will cost you $100 per year. That's a bit pricey. A lot of fans like Dropbox because it offers built-in media streaming of various file formats to their iPhone and iPad apps. It also lets you share files and folders online, create public shared folders, and track document versions. But Dropbox doesn't include the ability to edit documents via web-based apps, and it doesn't have its own desktop suite. You'll need to open any document stored in Dropbox in a local editor on your computer or mobile device. Dropbox's greatest strength is the Application Program Interface, or API for short. Since it's been around the longest, many third-party app developers use Dropbox API for file syncing and storage. So if you use a lot of apps, it might make sense to have a Dropbox account for this reason alone. And finally, if you live in the Google ecosystem or you don't use Microsoft Office on your computer, it makes a lot of sense to go with Google Drive. Developed by the Google Docs team, Google Drive offers five gigabytes of free storage in a clean, pleasing interface that's familiar to most Google users. Additional storage is the most affordable of the three that we've looked at, costing only $5 per month for an additional 100 gigabytes. One of the most convenient features is the ability to email any file from your Google Drive account to another user as an email attachment. That's a useful feature that's missing in all the other online drives. Google Drive can also open up to 30 kinds of files right inside your browser, including Photoshop files. Even if you don't have Photoshop installed on your computer, it creates a quick preview inside your web browser. The new grid mode setup is great as well, and it makes it easy to scroll through files. Drive also includes an option to turn on OCR text scanning, that's optical character recognition. Basically, when you upload images to Google Drive, Google will scan them for text and make them searchable. What Google Drive doesn't have is a built-in media streamer. So for many, until Google Drive gets a proper iOS app with a streaming media support, most people will use it as a backup service or simply for storing their documents. Cloud storage options come in different shapes and sizes for storing your files online. The best part about cloud storage, it's free. So instead of choosing just one over the other, why not take advantage of all three and get 14 gigs of storage space to use the way you want to? If that doesn't put you on cloud nine, I don't know what will. Gotta get, gotta connected. get, gotta get connected.